Plum here, g'day champions, how's it going? And welcome back to this week's Vendor Reset, the greatest on the interweb. Righto champions, it's weekly Vendor Reset time. There's no server maintenance this week, which means you can keep farming and raiding and doing your thing in the DZ. Firstly, welcome back to all you amazing subscribers. And if you are new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, you know what to do, pull your finger out and give that sub button a click. And while you're there, engage with this video. A like, a share, a comment, it all helps with the magic and the wizardry of the YouTube algorithm. Doing all this stuff is gonna help the channel and our amazing community grow. And don't forget to check me out on all my other socials, including Twitch, Discord, Facebook, The Works. All the links are in the description. Righto champions, before the vendors, let's see what's cracking in Div 2 this week. Arty League's now begun. This will go for the next two weeks and honestly, it's really simple to complete. If you've got the time and you can do it, just have a crack at the four time missions over both weeks and you should be able to complete it. And you're kind of in luck because the missions this time around are pretty bloody easy. It's going to unlock a bunch of different loot for you, as well as an exclusive arm patch and a backpack trophy. Also, for those that are interested, Phase 2 of the PTS for Title Update 18 has now finished. With only two more weeks left in this season, now I am only speculating, but it could be more than likely that we see Title Update 18 within the next month. But we're definitely going to know more over the coming weeks, so make sure you stay up to date with everything Division related and follow me everywhere, the links are in the description. So that's what's happening in Div 2 this week. Righto then, the vendors have now reset and I've done my usual whip around. Now at first glance, I was like, shit, there's nothing. But digging a little deeper, I found some very interesting items this week. Hey, they might not be god rolled or meta gear, but for those that like to get crafty with different builds, these items might just be for you. I've compiled a small list of these items because I do think that they're my top picks for the week. We'll quickly go over them and then we'll have the full overview of everything else at the end with some pretty cool tunes. Do keep in mind that the items that I mention might not be everyone's cup of tea because we all know what the vendors are like. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. As always, I'm your no fuss vendor reset guy that's not going to fuck around and bullshit you or waste your time. So let's jump in and check it all out so you can get back to gaming. Kicking things off this week, we're going to start at your countdown vendor where we've got the scalpel, Cherished and the Claws Out. All these items are okay in their own way, but I think the Cherished chess piece for some type of crowd control support build is the way to go this week. It will, however, cost you 75 countdown credits. In New York at the Haven, Marco's got this Brazo chess piece, solid armor, headshot damage, and glass cannon. Now, I made a glass cannon tank build yonks ago, before Spotter even came to the game. And there are a bunch of these so-called sweats that had a massive cry over the build. Now skip forward to the current game, some of these players are actually running 1.5 million armor glass builds. I do think this is a very interesting piece and it's worth grabbing to have a play around with. Now our old mate Roy next door has a Uzena chest. It's got okay armor, explosive resistance, has a protection and obliterate. Again, this one's a very interesting item. You could just simply swap the Talon off if you like, or you could roll on some crit and make it work. Maybe something along the lines of a Hazard Tank crit build. At the White House vendor, we've got another chess piece. It's the named Badger, the Zero Fs. It's got OK armor, crit hit chance, and perfectly unbreakable. If you're looking at making a tanky shotgun build, you'll want to have this. At your clan vendor this week, what is it? It's another named chess piece, the Point Man. 127k armor, 10.3 crit hit damage, some headshot damage, and perfect vanguard. This is a great piece to use on your countdown builds to support the whole squad. Down the list a little bit, we've got an AKM with max damage to armor and measured. A lot of players are starting to revisit this talent, and if you team it up with say something like Umbra or Striker, or both with the ninja backpack, it's got some filthy RPM. And the last stop this week is at DZ West, and nope, it's not for any of the named gear. This week, it's all rubbish. But the DZ West vendor does have some fantastic Umbra knee pads. Nearly max weapon damage and 8.8 crit hit damage. I know these things are easy to farm for, but if you've got the spare credits and you want a pair, just grab them. And like it or not champions, those are my tasty pickle ticklers for this week. On screen now is today's targeted loot, 
pause it, check it, and farm it. Make sure you do hang around and check out the full overview up next, and hey, if you spot a tasty buy for the week that I might have missed, mention it in the comments below to help everyone out. And like always, show your content creators your support, like, share, comment, and subscribe. All this kind of stuff really does help support myself and the channel. So that's going to wrap it up for this one, and I will catch you all in the next one. I'm Plum, Plum out. I can get you through this when it hurts and it's bad, yeah Don't ever feel like you're all alone when it's bad